My name is Alex Pennington, and we are the Aspiring Writers United. When do you write? This is one of the questions which has troubled writers for thousands of years. And I can tell you personally, as someone who works full-time and has quite a few responsibilities, it is really difficult to actually figure out when you can write. I've actually been trying out a few different methods. The first method I tried was getting up early to write. And this works in the short term. You're going, you're, you're going to do it. You'll, you'll figure out a way to get yourself out of bed early. And by early, I don't mean like 6 o'clock. I mean like 4 o'clock or 3.30. Because if you're on the road at 6 o'clock or 6.30, you need at least two and a half hours or so to get ready and actually be able to get ready and actually be able to write. It's not easy to actually get up that early and you're exhausted throughout the day and it's not the best thing for your mental health. I don't think it's I don't think it's a good solution in the long term. And so then I figured out and so then I figured okay, maybe I'll just write late at night. And as it turns out after a long day of work, it's pretty difficult to get yourself to write in the middle of the night. You know, we all talk about how we're night owls, and some people can do this, but it's pretty difficult. Not going to lie, it's uh, quite the challenge. And again, I don't think it's the best long-term plan, because after writing all night, you're exhausted the next day. And if you're exhausted each day, you're just going downhill slowly, and your quality of writing probably isn't the best. And so here's what I've figured out. This is what I think you need to do if you're like me, you're busy, you have a tight schedule, but you're wanting to write, obviously. Pick a time in the day, preferably after work, say for an hour, just one hour, even a half hour, it doesn't have to be a long time. Go to a separate room where you're not around anyone, even leave your phone out of the room. I know that's probably a stretch, let's be honest. But just isolate yourself and write. You have to do this. And you have to isolate yourself or you're just going to be consumed with distractions. You're not going to be able to be productive. It's really difficult. And you need to be selfish here. You need to be selfish about your writing time. You deserve this. You've worked all day. You're probably quite a bit tired. But this is your dream. This is, this is your goal. You need to cut out a little bit of time in your day for yourself. And I know that's not easy, but it's necessary. It's something you have to do. Because, listen, if you're forcing yourself to get up early, you're going to be exhausted. If you're forcing yourself to stay up late, you're going to be exhausted. Neither of these are good long-term strategies, and your writing will suffer, as well as your mental health, and it will affect your work, it will affect your school, it will affect other things. And so around 5 o'clock to 8 o'clock, those three hours, probably your sweet spot. And I know that's not easy because of other responsibilities, but it's something that if you can do this, it will make such a huge difference in your life. Writing isn't easy. And what's even more difficult is finding the time to write. And I think one of the mistakes we often do make is pushing it to either super early or super late. And this is why you get burned out, because you're really tired. And so what I suggest for you, figure out when you have the most energy. Again, probably after work, so you won't be super energized, but have a cup of coffee. You can, you can get up there at around 6.30, 7 o'clock. That's doable. And then just write. Isolate yourself for a little while. Give yourself your personal time to follow your dreams. You've earned it. It's worth it. And if you do this, I promise you, your mental health will improve. Your writing will improve. And you will just be a lot happier. Thank you all for listening. And please, don't forget to subscribe below.